signing autographs and we got some CDs to give away today. How you doing, studio audience? Just a moment, so we want you guys to, to feel free to ask questions and kick in at any time, okay? Oh, okay. You know, I want to thank you for coming out today because you could have been anywhere in the world today, but you're here with us and we appreciate it, don't we? Yeah. 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 And thanks for just tuning in and you don't know who we're talking to. We're talking to a ray of sunshine. This is none other than Holly B. Maxwell out of Chicago. Let's give it up for Holly. Today. Oh, it was nice and peaceful. Okay, I understand you, you've been to Gary before and you got some friends here. I used to live in Gary. You used to live in Gary? I married my husband from Gary. All right, watch out now. That's right. <laughs> they ain't well, got mad sense. Ain't oh, got married right. sense? Okay. <laughs> Holly, you are a legend in the blues industry. You have traveled abroad. You have been performing since the early 50s and 60s. I mean, you have just been with some of the blues legends. You know, I saw pictures of you with none other than Bobby Rush. He's a friend to the station. We had him on the station. How does it feel to have, you know, circulated in such a wide culture? You know, I'm going to tell you something. I, I am so blessed. Okay. I am so blessed. I feel like I am the example of birth. All right, all right. I really feel like that. I feel because of the fact that I've had so many blessed events myself. Okay. Okay. And I've been so um, blessed to to have, uh, um, have myself in a position where as I can be a, a very eventful for other people. You okay. know? <laughs> you yes, ma'am. Yes, so I, I mean, I'm just, I'm just thankful. I, I am just so thankful. Okay. I really okay. am. And, uh, okay, so I understand that you got some very close ties with Tina Turner and Ike, and that you performed for many years along the road traveling with them? No. No? No. Okay. The story is I took Tina's place. You took <laughs> Tina's place. All right. <laughs> and I didn't hit me because he would have got shot. All right. I you heard that. I didn't hit her. Okay. <laughs> went on. So I understand that you are getting inducted into the Chicago Blues Hall of Fame? Yes. When is that going to happen? That happens tomorrow. Tomorrow? How does that feel? How does that feel? That's huge. Well, you know, um, I deserve it. You deserve it? Oh, okay. Right. Um, I, I mean, my whole life has been music, nothing but music. Okay. Um, um, I remember that. I remember when I was five years old. Uh -huh. I'll tell you about this. Okay. My mother was uh -huh. an opera singer, uh -huh. and so therefore they had me going to opera. Okay. To sing. And she would be at the piano playing the Lord's Prayer by uh -huh. lot. Okay. And when she got to that part where it says, For thine is the kingdom and the glory and the power forever. Well, uh -huh. And she said, Into temptation. I ran out of the room and said, Into temptation. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, so that was at five years old. So I, uh, this, 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 this honor, this honor to be in the Blues Hall, Chicago's Blues Hall of Fame. It's, uh, it's just awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. It is. So, but you know, blues, is, blues has its own language. It has its own following. When Bobby Rush was here, he was saying that people just get to toe tap it and it just comes to you, when, you right. when, when blues is on. Sing something for us. I'm an evil gal. Don't you mess with me. All right. Said I'm an evil gal. You better not mess with me. I'm going to take all your money and leave you in your own misery. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what can we expect? We got all the book that's coming out. What can we expect from Holly? Um, you know, I've got so many things that I need to do. I need that you need to do? That I need to do. <laughs> okay. Um, um, I want to work on a documentary okay. of my life. How many um, years have you been in, in the blues business? In, wait a minute, in the blues business or in the yeah. music business? Music business. Really one I'm sixty eight years old. Oh wow, you look great. Thank you. And I started when I was five, so that's sixty three years okay. in, I in think the that music deserves business. a documentary. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, my friend over there, Lynn Orman Weiss, we were talking about doing a one woman show. Where's Lynn at? Hey Lynn. How are you? Good. A one woman show. Why not? Why not? Right? Right, right. 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 And 
uh, next year I'll be 70. So I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to celebrate. I'm going to do something spectacular. Okay. <laughs> if I sat down, I'd die. Okay. All right. You got the energy to do the moves. And I've watched the videos. I see you put it down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 70 ain't got nothing on you. No, it, 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 when I get to it be 80, it ain't going to have nothing on me. All right. Who was one of your inspirations in the music industry? You know who I loved? I loved Josephine Baker. Really? That, uh, that's, that's, she was one of my inspirations to go to Paris. Mm -hmm. And I lived in Paris from, from, uh, 90, from 95, off and on, coming back and forth to take care of my mom, until uh -huh. about 2006. Okay. Mm -hmm. She was inspiration. I tell you, somebody else is inspiration. I know this is really going to knock you out. Uh, James Mansfield and Marilyn Monroe. Really? Mm -hmm. They were wow. inspirations to me because when growing up, that's all I seen was white women on TV with blonde hair. <laughs> <laughs> so, here I am. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to take some questions from our studio audience. Uh, does anyone have a question? Uh, Keenan, I have a radio show here. Hi. And a lot of this show that I have, I think, I need to get that mic up. But I just talk loud. And the radio show that I have is geared at bridging the gap a lot. We, we got a big communication gap between the generations. A lot of people don't know your music. I know for myself, that's a void. I don't know your music, but I can feel your spirit and feel your voice. Are you interested or are you open to working with any young artists who might want to work with you? Sure. Sure, I have no problem with that. But they gotta be serious. That's that's that that's that that would be that would be the uh, the uh, conditions. They would have to be serious, and let me say this: they have to be talented. They they would have to be talented, and they would have to be very serious. The WLTA Studio streaming live from Gary, Indiana, on the Dinoland Big Show have to say a special hello to those that are streaming. We had check-ins from Ohio, Minnesota, Kentucky, Los Angeles, and California. Thanks for getting your stream on, on Ustream on 1370 WLTH. We are kicking off a Black Music Month celebration for the month of June. We have Holly in the house. I understand you used to work with Curtis Mayfield and a lot of other talented artists. How was something like that? Oh, that was an experience. Uh, Curtis. Curtis Mayfield was an he was an awesome, awesome writer, and uh, he wrote he wrote a couple of songs for me. Incidentally, uh, one was "Suffer," mm -hmm. and the other one was "No One Else" with the impressions in the background. With the impressions, wow! In the background, yeah. That yeah. must have been a real good experience. Yeah, huh? Well, that was the, I mean I was like the kid in the candy store. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> all trying to make big things happen yes. in the black community yes. you know you hear so much negativity what's your spin on that my spin is they ought to lock some of the mamas and daddies up okay all right you were straight to it didn't you yep i was ready <laughs> you were ready <laughs> well, what do you say for like some of these young guys that are out here they're struggling you know they don't get a lot of support you know what 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 could you give them in, to inspire them to keep you know because it's a struggle well you know uh Education, you know, to go keep your education up. Keep your education up. I don't care, you know, I like, I love music. It's my life. It's all I do. If you tell me I can't sing, you got to fight, okay? Okay. But make sure that you cover yourself and be educated. Because wherever you go in this world, if you got the brains and the mentality, it will take you there. It will take you there. It will take you there. Okay. Yes, it will. Okay. How do you prepare for your performances? Do you have choreographers and makeup artists and all that, or you get it together yourself? I do it. I do it all myself. You do it all ticky. yourself. Okay. I'm very ticky. You're very ticky. I make my own clothes. I make your own clothes. Yes. Wow. What about your dance moves? I'll sing your dance. Guess what? Well, they, they just come whenever they come. They come. <laughs> <laughs> when you feel the music, they come. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And through social media, you know, you are able to carry on your legacy over years of, you know, from the 60s to 70s. You know, this this is a young studio audience we have here. Yes. Does that yes. make you feel like you're keeping yourself? That makes me feel like I, I, I'm, I'm still in touch. You're in touch? Yes. That's that, a good uh, way to put yeah, it. Uh, that makes yes. me feel I'm in touch. And to the studio audience, I'd like to say thank you. 
All right. Thank you so much. Out, I'd like to have you back, or okay. you know, we do a phone interview or something. We'll, we want to stay in touch okay. with you and uh, track you. And again, thank you so much for coming it was to be a part of WLTH Black Music Month on the Dinah Lynn Big Show each and every Saturday from 3 to 6, 3 to 6 at the station that makes your day, 1370 AM, WLTH.